How's it everybody? Another distinction essay kind of video here. Die Schoenheit van die Natuur. Beauty of Nature. This is not my essay. It was actually given to me as a nice sample by my tutor way back when. A couple of years ago and I've just decided to use it here. Bless her heart. She, uh, she is no longer breathing, unfortunately. Um, really miss her. And yeah, paying tribute to her with this stunning uh, descriptive essay here of nature. So, die Natuur is vir my toevlug soort waar ek vrede en stilte vind. So nature is a haven for me, where I find the peace, well, the peace, where I find peace and quiet. Wanneer ek tis in die bome stap, in die sachter gefluister, van die wind hoor, voel dit asof die wereld vir een oomblik stilstaan. Die sonlig wat dier die vorm dan sende patrone op die grond. En die vaars reek van nat aarde, vul my longe met lewe. So when I walk among the trees and hear the soft whisper of the wind, it feels as if the world, it, uh, it stands still for a moment. The sunlight breaking through the leaves, it forms dancing patterns on the ground. And the fresh smell of wet earth fills my lungs with life. What a nice bang where we're starting this essay off with. We're using, we're using really nice vocab as well, like tuflich soort. Uh, haven. Um, these are all hallmarks of really, really good Afrikaans essays. Again, solid, robust understanding of the structure of the essay. Look, if you're writing a reflective essay, well then reflect, do some introspection. If you're writing a descriptive essay, use some nice adjectives, some solid, bepoeglike naamwoorde. Use some big ones in context. Please don't use like 20 or 30 intensive forms, okay? Just one or two. Minimum one, max two, I believe. Use your figure of speech knowledge. Alka asim teeg herinner my daaraan dat ek deel is van iets groter. Iets wat nie dier menselike hande begeer kan word nie. So every breath, it reminds me that I'm part of something bigger. Something that cannot be controlled by human hands. Langs die rivier blink die water soos glas. So the water, it, it shines like glass. Okay, nice simile there. These are all hallmarks of a distinction essay. En klein insekte skyf oor die oppervlak terwijl voels vrolik tussen die takke roep. Ek luister na gul, gul gesang, een natuurlijke symfony wat sonder einde speel. So I listen to their song, a, a natural symphony that plays without end. Die berge, the mountains, en die verte stijg, majesteus tegen die licht. So the mountains in the distance, they rise majestically against the sky. Hul kranse vol geheime, wat oor eer, eer, gevorm is. By cliffs full of secrets shaped over centuries. A wanneer ek hulle handsko, voel ek nederig, maar ook dankbaar om te bestaan in a wereld so vol wonder en balans. So when I look at them, I feel humbled, but also grateful to exist in a world so full of wonder and balance. In skemer word die licht in sachte pink en oranje kleere verf. So at dusk, the sky is painted in soft pinks and oranges. Die wind raak koel, en ek voel die aarde onder my voete stadig afkoel, saam met die dag. Alles word stil, behalwe die sachte gekras van krekels, wat hulle nachtlied begin. So the wind it cools, and I, I feel the earth beneath my feet slowly, cooling the day. And everything, everything falls silent, except for the soft chirping of crickets beginning their nightly song. En daar die oomblik, yeah, please don't use like assimilation here, like a dari, look, look, that is like more kombuis Afrikaans, let's use some saver Afrikaans. Besef ek dat die natuur nie net iets is om te bewonder nie, maar iets wat die siel genees. Dit herinner my daarvan dat vrede nie in geraas of haastigheid le nie, maar in eervoud in stilte. So in that moment I realized that nature is not just something to admire but something that heals the soul and it reminds me that peace does not lie in noise or haste but in simplicity and silence. So again nice little essay it's nothing over the top it's it's basic man it's just it's basic stompy basic vocab like just it's like one simile here I'm not overdoing it with Swiss and us or anything like that I'm using conjunctions properly using four settles properly as well all the prepositions are, are solid like this is fal just keep it basic and you'll get your distinction nothing extravagant because you're gonna risk you know just messing it all up watch out hope you guys enjoyed the video all the best for your paper and yeah if you'd like to steal this essay by all means go for it